What's up, guys? Welcome, uh, welcome back to, uh, a tournament. The Dill Show. That's over. Welcome back to The Dill Show. We gotta say, and I'm pretty sure you realize since you are one of the uh, main TOs of this tournament, you are now officially the first ever player to win four of these tournaments in a row. Yeah, that is what makes this special for me. <laughs> I really wanted to win. It's like, it's funny because it's like, no one else really cares about this Xeno in particular. For me, it's like, I want four, I want four, I want four. I don't know, man. I mean, Venia himself has been, uh, uh, as I believe we got some Devon stats over there, told me that he got uh, second place, or at least finished top two at every single Xeno this season. So, so yeah. far. So this four in a row actually started at the beginning of the season, and Venia has gotten second at all four of those also. So not only is it I've gotten first, give him the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I got four in a row. <laughs> Benny came in. He's trying to get out of here, man. He's trying he to get. Money. He's trying to get. Yeah. He's trying to get his money first so, for the interview. But uh, yeah, I'll ask you your uh, your favorite question. Um, how you feel? Okay, oh, I feel nice. Let's try for five in a row. Let's try for five in a row, man. If you could just push that record more and more, it's gonna get harder and harder and harder for these uh, players to break. And with the way you've been playing recently, just on this crazy hot streak, if anybody can really do it uh, right now, I mean. Literally, it is you because you were the only one who could since you won the last four. But you get what I'm saying. If you, the further you can set that, the better it'll be. So, do you believe? And I gotta ask this since I'm from Jersey. I gotta ask this because uh, some Jersey players they say uh, they say some certain things. Not about you. No, I'm not talking about you. That's not what I'm saying. They say some certain things about New York in that they do not know how to fight Diddy Kong. Um, what do you think about that? Do you think I New wouldn't York know? Do we get do when we go there? Do we all lose to James like really hard? I don't know. I mean, no, but you lose to unranked uh, commentators. That was a special day. <laughs> I'm kidding. I had to tease you. I had to do it once. I had to do it once. I'm sorry. I had to just tease you. But no, because we um, Jersey I will say is very good at the Diddy matchup, and it's not just because of James. We also have Angel Cortez, who is like more so up it. north, and then like round central we have a. Uh, Around Central, we have James, of course, at the bigger tournaments. But um, there are a few players and characters who I know like the Diddy matchup, and I don't like playing against them. Mm -hmm. Like like when I lost to you that one time, for instance. Yes. Like you were telling me how much you like the Diddy matchup. And I'm like, I love oh, Diddy. loving Diddy and playing Mario. I'm like, Ugh, let me go this other character who I actually play for this matchup. For sure, for yeah. sure. But, I mean, yeah, do you... um. Just know you don't really have any comments on like that stigma or anything about like New York. It's it's a generalization, I mean, to say the least. To be fair, I believe I've lost to. Uh, I technically won one with James. Let's go. Um, but I lost to Gon zero one. Angel smokes me, and. Angel smokes a lot of things. And what? Who was the other one? Oh, uh, and I lost Jim. to Jackal once. Jackal, yes. yes but I hate course. Sonic. Mm -hmm. I never learned the Diddy Ditto. And guys, come over. Let's just like. Angel can come over here and we can practice the Diddy Ditto for the last major that's not happening. But and we'll just have a lot of fun at the last Xeno. Yeah. Th that's what I was going to say. I mean, for any New Yorkers who have uh, been able to come to a Jersey, come to a wrist fest as he has at his house very often and become broken at the matchup. Some of y'all are sick of seeing this guy win. Uh, I know I'm not. I love Dill. So, Follow me. So Angel goes to Riz Fest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Riz, uh, I've, you know the player Riz, he hosts... Uh, like Smash Fest at his house quite often, where we uh, become uh, broken at the Diddy matchup. Apparently, it's just so so broken. But yeah, um, uh, is there um any sort of um is there any sort of feeling that you have that you think is like helping you like carry this momentum throughout? Like just any any like uh, semblance of a uh, any like semblance or like uh, what am I trying to say here? Any semblance of like confidence, or, like philosophical confidence that you have? Like what do you think going into every set and just? And just like, what is your mentality just going into every one of these tournaments and just so solidly winning them every single time? Tournaments as stacked as Xeno Weeklies, you know? <laughs> it's not an easy f thing to do. It's not an easy feat. So I just got to ask, uh, how do you do it? Today, I just really wanted to win every set I played. Yes. The other ones, it kind of just happened that way. I don't know. Do you know the full storyline? Before I started winning, I got second at Xeno constantly for like six months. Uh, I got like eight seconds in six months mm. or something. It was a lot of seconds. I mean, I did see a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Grands a lot. Mm -hmm. Not the nice side of Grands. You were, you were, you were, uh, you were the Venia. Yeah, uh, the current and Venia. 
And Venia, Venia was the me, like, you know, he was just, like, actually deal. winning them. People oh, for were, real? People were handing it off. Well, no one was really dominating at any given time, but, you know, people hand it off. Venia's definitely one of the people who's won more Xenos. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, as far as the people who are, like, still attending, because it's, like, Sage has grand title of most Xenos won. John doesn't really play anymore, and he's at, like, somewhere. But then it's, like, E and Venia and me are the people who actively play here and have won more than, like, four Xenos. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, like, scrambles and grabs like an amount of Xenos, but yeah. like me and Venia and E are probably the people who consistently have been taking them in the last year. Mm. But so far that does not seem to be the case anymore with the new trendsetter of the man winning four of uh, one of the most stacked locals, at the very least on the East Coast, in a row. That is that is really quite the feat, and frankly, I, I think you should absolutely be proud of yourself. One of my favorite things about it is because I got this mostly from consistently beating Ray and Venia now. Mm -hmm. Because those were the people in New York who I typically lose to or have shaky sets on. I mean, then again, I've been shaky against E also, but he hasn't attended these last three weeks before this. So. Right. I'm still ready for him. I was I was so ready, but we, that didn't happen. Yeah. And I'm happy for Renardo, so whatever. Did he, That'll happen uh, next week. Did you guys not play, or did he just not enter today? Oh, he entered, but he, he got enter. fifth, I think. Uh. Yeah, he lost to Venia. And... Really? I don't know. I was about Venia. to say, because I... I started casting, I think, around when Top 8 started. Yeah. I, had, I didn't even see him. Yeah, it was 7. It was an underperformance by him, for sure. Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, he is pretty much always one of the top seeds, if not the top seed of uh, the Xeno Weeklies. But even with uh, PGR, uh, local PGR player Mr. E in attendance, it's just, it, couldn't, it was not yeah. enough for Dill. Couldn't so, stop him. Venia and Ray used to be like, I'd be very inconsistent against them. And that's just kind of flipped on its head lately, and I'm just not losing to them, uh -huh. and that's great. Well, that, that is absolutely... That's like um, as much improvement as I need to win four weeks in a row. Yeah. Well, I mean, here's to five, man. Let's see if you can just, like, place that record even farther and just uh, just further assert your place in the history. I'm, like, happy tournament. to have more than anyone else. But then again, if I get five, I think it's actually impossible for anyone else to get five because there's not enough Xenos left. So if I win one more time, then it's absolutely impossible. Because if oh. DeBuzz wants to ruin it for me, My goodness, he could come to the last five Xenos or That's whatever, the last six, and just say, yeah, you guys you guys ain't nothing. He can. <laughs> I guess. If it's some top player nothing. wants to come steal the Xeno record attending us every week, you know, Do you're it. welcome. I'll the try idiot. my hardest. It's bad enough that I'm this bad commentating. I literally forgot Ultimate existed for a second and forgot there aren't going to be that many Xenos even left for Smash 4. So that means you've completely cemented your place in history yeah. in terms of that one streak. I've actually really sort of, it's sort of funny, I've kind of tried to take Xeno more seriously, because Xeno's my baby, I'm one of the TOs, and I really want to, like, do well at Xeno mm -hmm. lately. Well, I mean... Yeah, it's working out. Mission, it's working out, mission accomplished. But, um... Uh, any other uh, any other closing thoughts? Uh, any, anything else you want to say? Follow me on Twitter. I'm Ooh. almost at 200. I have a for, for the Twitter handle. You you guys like the Twitter handle? I love that Twitter handle. You know what? In the <laughs> I really shouldn't say this, <laughs> but in the um no 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 it's not inappropriate. Like no worries. I'm not I'm not a moron. In the season that I beat you, that was one of the best seasons of my life because I beat a lot of other really good players that season too and I thought I had a shot at the Jersey PR it came out I didn't make it on but like left the PR season before that you know like how uh, all the Jersey players had quotes and I, I actually had a quote prepared for what I wanted mine to be it was is this relatively unheard of because it didn't happen <laughs> it's gonna be I wish I had one billion dollars oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> anyway that's what I was gonna no it's gonna it was gonna be like cuz you know cuz I it was the season that I was I your best Dill, win which that was season? Like, um, I beat Jackal. Well, I, I had the best Twitter handle of anyone you beat that oh, season. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Which is basically like uh, equates to the best win. Yeah. yeah. But no, I just... But they didn't even do quotes on that PR, so even if I hypothetically made that one, like I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have been able to use it. But I don't know. I just thought, I thought you would appreciate it. I would have. Yeah, because I love this guy, man. I, I really do. He's too much fun to hang out with. Too much fun to play, really. I mean, maybe that's just me because I love fighting Diddy. But uh, if you don't have any more closing thoughts, nothing else you yeah. want to say to the stream besides follow Dill, I will tell you as well to follow Dill as well. If you want to follow me here at Nintunist, uh, tell me my commentary is great. Uh, tell me it's trash. Uh, tell me you want to throw trash at me uh, if you see me in the street. Whatever. I appreciate any and all feedback. You can follow me at Nintunist. I'm also a content creator on YouTube, Twitch, all that good stuff, whatever, all the typical stuff that Smash Brothers players do. And if you're not already, 
follow and subscribe right here on twitch.tv slash house of 3000. If you're not doing it, just what are you doing? I don't know if we've mentioned that doing? we're going to be hosting a ultimate tournament week of. We should probably be telling the audience that. Yeah, constantly. we'll have an event page up uh, soon, probably before November, so like in, in like the next week. But we're going to be doing a launch tournament, which will be on Friday and Saturday, and uh, depending on how alive we are, Sunday too. So like, you know, all weekend Smash Four come, th Smash Four all weekend Smash Ultimate come through uh, for the release. You'll be able to play. We have a crap ton of setups here. So there'll be more than enough space to play and just play. We're gonna do a bunch of different brackets of different rule sets. Um, try uh, like like the different modes. I, I'm I'm looking forward to. They call it Squad Strike. I call it King of Fighters, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm really hyped for all that. And yeah, I hope you guys see us on Friday, December seventh. That'll be two days after uh, Xeno One Thirty Nine or something. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. So lots of it. And, uh, yeah, so come through. Yeah, come out to the last Smash for Xeno. Get acquainted with the place before you come three days in a row just two days after. Yeah. All right, well, All right, with that said, I got to get out of here. I think that is pretty much going to do it for us. Dill, congratulations again, Thank sir. You. Hope you guys Always like watching me play. Oh, I'm sure they hate it.